Okay, so lately, I'm experiencing some problems with my gaming laptop. So, this is the Asus uh, ROG gaming laptop. Hindi ito yung pinaka-latest na gaming laptop today. Still, uh, it's one of the most powerful at uh, reliable itong gaming machine na to. So, ang ginawa ko, uh, dinala ko siya sa service center and have them check this machine. And ang diagnose nila is uh, nagluloko na nga daw yung hard disk drive niya. So itong uh, machine na to, uh, bali it supports uh, SSD drive at standard 2.5 uh, hard disk. Okay, so in this video, uh, I'm going to show you on how you can easily replace or upgrade yung hard disk drive mo. Okay, so ang gagamitin ko sa upgrade uh, since uh, uh, I want to maximize yung uh, capacity or yung storage capacity ng hard drive ay itong uh, Seagate Barracuda. It's a uh, 2TB capacity with 5400 RPM. So kung makita nyo, it's very slim. It's very thin. So manipis lang siya. At uh, it's a 2 terabyte capacity. So that's a lot of storage. Yung uh, included na nandito sa uh, Asus ROG is only 1 terabyte. So now I'm going to replace yung uh, old drive nitong gaming machine with this brand new Seagate Barracuda 2 terabyte hard disk. Tong Seagate Barracuda disk drive. Yung size niya is a 2.5 inch, uh, so compatible siya on any laptop. Pwede mo rin siya ikabit sa uh, hard drive enclosure. Then, pwede mo rin siya magamit as a USB external drive. Form factor, uh, it's only 7.2 millimeter thickness. At ang data transfer rate niya, it's 140 MB per second. So, that's really fast. So let's say you're transferring around 1 gigabyte of files. Um, it could finish the transfer of files on around uh, 15 to 20 seconds. It uses a legacy low current system. So yung connection niya, it's a standard uh, serial ATA interface. Hindi naman mahirap uh, ikabit itong hard disk na ito. I'll just flip this back okay so before you open yung back cover ng laptop kung removable yung battery ng laptop mo it's better to remove yung battery para sure na walang uh, power yung laptop kailangan mo lang is a uh, torque screw so I'll just remove this okay then tanggalin ko lang yung back cover so, madali lang naman siya. Okay. So, that's it. Okay, so, nandito yung slot for the RAM. And I have the slot here for the SSD drive. At ito yung kailangan kong palitan. Which is, ito yung uh, 2.5 uh, disk drive. Okay, so, ang gagawin ko lang is I just need to move 4 screws. Now, so hilahin ko lang to and natanggal na yung hard disk. Nakalagay din siya sa case. So this one is uh, a Samsung hard disk. Okay, so ngayon tatanggalin ko lang siya sa case. Okay, so meron siyang apat na screws. more 
Okay, so ngayon, that's it. Naalis ko na ngayon yung, yung lumang hard disk drive. So ngayon, kakabit ko na ngayon itong Seagate Barracuda disk drive. So tulad ng kanina, kakabit ko lang yung mapat na screws. Nakalagay na siya doon sa caddy niya. Bababa ko lang siya and I'll just push it and that's it. So, nakalak na siya doon sa uh, connector niya. Then, syempre, I'll just uh, put the screws back. Ikabit ko na siya. Hindi ko na gagalawin yung ibang parts. And babalik ko na tong back cover niya. Okay, so that's how easy to install itong Seagate Barracuda disk drive. Okay, so now uh, I'll check uh, yung drive kung na-detect ng BIOS sa ta configuration. Okay, so that's it. So na-detect na ng BIOS. Physical address, so 1.8 terabyte yung uh, Seagate. At ito naman yung Samsung SSD card. Okay. So now I'll just uh, restore default settings and save changes and exit. Okay, so hindi pa siya na detect ng Windows 10. So ang gagawin ko lang is I'll go to computer management. Then I'll go to disk management and there it is. Again, this is Bam, Obadobotech and thank you for watching. Now back to work.